Hi, I'm Kerry with Suka. Today we're going to look at how to download version 4.0 software and get it installed on a USB stick so it can be put into your grain dryer. To do that, we want to go to support.mysuka.com as you see here and scroll down, find grain dryers and click on that. And then we can select which style of grain dryer that you have. Um, note for software, it doesn't matter. It's going to all be the same software. The most current software here under this tree is going to be version 4.0. So we're going to click on that. Now we have a choice of imaging, troubleshooting, the actual software, um, or communication error. We're going to select software. And right here is the version 4.0 official release. So we'll click on that and I want to download it. Now it's going to download wherever your computer is set up to do that. Um, generally, I believe it just goes to your downloads folder. Okay, when it's complete, we can open the file. Okay, now sometimes the folder is going to have a zipper on it, but notice that there is an option to extract all, extract all items in this folder. And this is a very important step. Uh, when you download it, it is going to be the folder called project and it's going to be a zipped or a compressed folder. So if you do not extract it, um, it, and go to put it on a USB stick, it's not going to work. Um, so anyway, we can select that folder and, and then select Extract All. And now it brought, uh, brought this window up and I can decide where I want to put it. Um, I tend to, uh, to like to scroll to my desktop and, uh, and, and put it there so I can find it. Um, now I'm going to hit Extract. It just finished and it brought a folder called project onto my desktop. So that is going to be a freshly downloaded and extracted folder. So now we need to plug the USB stick that we're going to use into our computer, um, open up a file and, and find that, that USB. Usually it's going to be down on the bottom and say USB drive on it. The one I happen to grab here is a, is a new empty um, USB drive. You can use the USB stick for other things. It doesn't have to be only for this. Uh, once you've got it uh, ready to go, you can right click and drag it over and hit copy here or copy and paste it or however you want to do that. Just uh, again, just to reiterate, um, make sure you extract the folder before you, you put it onto the USB stick. And also note that we're putting project right on the top or the root level, the top level of the USB stick. I can't put the project folder into another folder because the Quadra Touch will not know where to, where to find it um, if we do that. So we've got to have the extracted folder project on the top level of the USB stick. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, now I've got this 100% copied to my USB drive and I can go ahead and extract the drive, take it to the dryer, and uh, we'll go through the step one and step two process to put it in QuadraTouch Pro. So now we're gonna go through how to update software on your dryer. So the first step is gonna be going to your computer, downloading the software, and then getting it onto a USB stick like this. Once we have it on the USB stick, we're gonna to go to the touchscreen, and here we've got our touchscreen powered up. We should have a USB port um, in, the, in the bottom of the touchscreen, so we're gonna slide that in. Um, we can note what software is currently on the touchscreen on the, on the main home page, and here it shows that we have PLC version 3.02. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and do the steps on how to update it to version 4.0. So now we've got our USB stick installed in the touchscreen, and we're going to go to Tools and then Update Tools. And then we're going to go to Quarter Touch Update. And now we have two steps. Step number one updates the touch panel or HMI or touch screen, whatever you want to call it. Step number two updates the PLC, which is on board the dryer itself. So we always have to start with step number one and it'll say file transfer in progress. If you do this too quickly, it might tell you that you need to wait 30 seconds for the, uh, for the computer or for the touchscreen to recognize the USB stick. So we pretty much have the software loaded to the touchscreen. It's, it's basically saying we need to set default, so we'll go ahead and hit continue. Um, and it's good news, the dryer's found. That means the touchscreen does recognize that it is plugged into a PLC, and we'll hit next. Um, you'll notice that it does say restart required. Okay, at this point, notice it says restart required, so we're going to go ahead and touch restart, and that's going to reboot the HMI. Okay. 
Okay, so we've let the touchscreen reboot and, and good news, it found the PLC again. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. So sometimes when you do this, it's gonna force you to do a dryer model selection. If not, notice that it's blank here. So we're gonna go ahead and touch dryer model. And here's our set defaults, it's gonna pop up. Um, in, in this case, we're gonna choose that we, are, we do have a mixed flow dryer hooked up to this touchscreen. And it is a brand new one, 2024 and newer. Note there is a selection for 2023 and older. There was a gearbox unload ratio change here. So that's what you need to select. We are working on a 24 foot basket dryer and it has 14 tiers. It is a conveyor unload and has a static sampler four and a quarter by four. Note if you have a six and a quarter by four, that was only about uh, one year production. The great majority of them are four and a quarter by four if you do have a static sampler. Um, ours is a soft start that is not expandable. So I'm gonna select this one. And it has a gravity load system in the top. And once we've figured all that out, it gives, it gives us all the model information, fan information, and plenum information to review. If we need to change something, we can change it and go back and redo it or hit done. Okay, our next step is going to be to push the software from the touchscreen to the PLC. And it may force you to do that. If it doesn't, then we're gonna go again to tools and update tools and quarter touch update. Ah, now it did finally catch up and force us, but this is quarter touch update. And notice that it's flashing that the PLC software is out of date, perform step two. So we're gonna touch step two. And at this point, we need to make sure that the picture shown matches the PLC in the main power box of the dryer. So what we're talking about there, the PLC is these first orange slices. Uh, we can count that it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blue slices, three reds, four greens, two yellows. So we need to select what we've actually got there. And this does happen to match mine. If I only had three, notice I can change that and it changes how many are in the picture. Um, the other thing we need to check is whether we have a 150 or a 151 PLC. And note that that is printed right on the PLC. The close up here shows it'll say ILC 150 or ILC 151. Very important to get the right one selected. Once we're confident with that, we're gonna hit update PLC. It is gonna show a bus error. So that means uh, basically the, the PLC is being rebooted. We're pushing new software to it. That bus error should go away. The DOS window pulled up here is always a very good sign when we see text in that. Um, you'll note that it shows what the IP address is. Um, dryer software, or sorry, dryer PLCs are always um, um, 192.168.1.103. So we're connected to that and it's, it, it is writing software to the PLC now. Now it gives it another 30 seconds to, to recognize the PLC after it's been rebooted. That's what we want to see. This PLC is successfully restarted and it's, it's been recognized by the touchscreen. We'll go ahead and hit next. Okay, we're back to our main uh, touch screen or main start screen here, and notice that it now shows the Quarter Touch PLC version as 4.0. Our dryer model is a 2414. Um, a quick double check of everything. We can go to Tools, and then System Tools, and System Information, and just verify that the PLC is on version 4.0 and the HMI is on version 4.0. If we were hooked up to a, an air system in this, in this as well, um, then it would show us that, that version. Um, the strings and the moisture at this point don't mean a lot. PLC and HMI must match. They need to be the same number, and 4.0 is the most uh, current software. So we were successful. Mm -hmm.